for week three as we are looking in this newest installment we are looking at one of club bell trainings big three the hammer swing now we've gone through part one was the two-handed side swing and then we went into part two which was our two-handed side semi now we're going to start looking up over top we've got the swinging action we've got everything we need to keep that bell moving all the way through now we're going to look over top and ensure that we can maintain that structure overhead while we're going through the hammer swing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a two-handed torch press. For the two-handed torch press, same deal. We got hand over hand, and from here, we do a slight bend, swing it up to order. Now, from order position, what I'm doing here is I've got shoulders packed, I've got elbows at 90 degree angles, and I've got them in close to my side, so they're not flared out, and I'm not holding this club bell up with my shoulders. Shoulders are packed, elbows are in tight, my lats, my big back muscles are flared, so they are acting as a shelf that while the weight, even though the weight is out in front of me, I'm holding on to it with the rest of my structure. Now another important thing is you're going to be tall through the crown, and again, soft knees, so we don't want big old bent knees, but we don't want them locked out either, because we want to be able to maintain that long coccyx to crown, soft knees enough to just drop the tailbone. That engages your core so that everything happening up top is stabilized by everything happening down below. So from here, I'm going to start in order position. And if you can imagine, I'm going to hunch up my shoulders. This is not what you're going to do. But if you can imagine something pressing down on my shoulders, as that action is pressing down on my shoulders, simultaneously, it, that drive is being pushed into my elbow, and that almost becomes the hydraulic for my arms going up. So I'm gonna start in that 90 degree, and I'm just gonna focus on drive down. So it's not, a, I'm not actually coming up here and drive down. You just drive the shoulder pack down, and as you do, you're gonna feel the elbow start to drive down and push those hands forward. At that point, that's when you're going to start to take the club bell and you're going to drive it straight up, not out, but up. And what you want to do is you want to go as straight up as you can that your shoulder mobility allows. If your shoulder mobility is really tight, then for some people, you know, you're going to get out to here because that's as far as your mobility. And if you try and get it overhead, you're going to end up overextending in your back. Do not do that, please. It just means that your shoulders need to open up a little bit. So we're gonna, so from here, but the idea is when you're doing that torch press, you almost imagine like you've got a plate on the top of your, on the top of your club bell. And you've got a glass with water in it, and another plate, and another glass. This time it's a wine glass. Then you've got water in it. Then you've got another plate. Then you've got something else, an apple on top and everything is super finely balanced. And if you move just straight out, that tower will actually tip over and come crashing down. We wanna come up underneath the club bell and drive that club bell up towards the ceiling so that we can maintain that column, that fragile column all the way up through to the top. Use that as the visual to kind of help this happen. So shoulders are packed down strong, elbows are squeezing in my ribs and squeezing forward. So I'm turning the elbows in as if I don't want my elbows out here. I'm not going to try and torch press from here. Elbows come in tight to the side and drive forward as I turn my elbow, elbows in towards each other. And you'll feel almost a ringing effect on around with your hands around the neck of the club bell so that as you wring the neck out they're gonna be, they're gonna stay in alignment you want to keep the alignment so we don't want our wrists breaking either way but as we drive those elbows through we're gonna keep those wrists aligned and and almost wring the neck out of the club bell so from here the entire time I've got my pelvis my core is engaged so I'm not hanging out 
Here, I'm super engaged to keep me aligned all the way through as I drive up. Come back down to that 90 degree, don't hold it up here because your shoulders will start hunching around your ears. And when you're in that top position, just as we were doing down in the bottom, you want to make sure that your long arm is locked, shoulder pack. Your short arm is locked and shoulder pack. Because once we start getting into the full on hammer swing, if, a lot of people can maintain it here, but as soon as they get to the top, they break. And that's why you need to work with the torch press for a bit to really get that strength. Because it feels different when it's up top as opposed to when it's down below. And you'll feel the difference in both sides. Make sure you work both sides. We'll see you next week. Next week, we swing the hammer. Bringing the hammer down. Have a good one.